Hi, Gemini. Welcome to October. Let's just see what's going on uh, with the cards. And we'll chat about planets along the way. <clears throat> Lots of Plutonian energy happening. Um, I feel like there are some changes uh, that have to do with things either with somebody that you're very close to um, or something from the, I feel like it's more from the past. I feel like um, there's almost this thought or idea that you've had your whole life and somebody's challenging it or you feel like it's being challenged in some way. So we have the death card and we have the six of cups. Now, interestingly enough, the six of cups represents the sun in Scorpio and the death card also represents Scorpio. So there's a lot of transformation that's happening. And, and I'm not surprised that you guys got Scorpio energy coming out. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, maybe somebody who you're very, very close to, or you feel extremely connected as if you even had past lives with each other. Um, I'm not surprised because Mercury, your ruling planet, is moving into Scorpio. So there's a lot of Plutonian energy. Pluto just went direct today. Um, you could also be dealing with a Leo, too, that is also a, um, feels very much like extremely closely connected, right? You, that The Six of Cups is soulmate material, basically. But soulmate material isn't always the best. Ooh, as I say that, the tower comes out, which is more Scorpio energy. So the tower flips over. As I say that even though you feel very closely connected to somebody it doesn't necessarily mean that that's your person, right? Could be a Scorpio, could be a Leo. That's all the energy we have right now. Um, and I kind, I want you to be very discerning. This tower makes me want to hold my breath, you know, and and it doesn't even feel like it's catastrophic. Like it doesn't feel. Like, there, it's almost as if you recognize as this tower moment happens, whether it's an uncomfortable conversation, an aha moment that you have for yourself, whatever this is, this tower moment is for you, you almost, you like rebound really, really fast. And that's why I'm not, like, it's, it's, it can be life-changing, very, very life-changing, because I feel like you're, this is actually creating stability in your life. Here's the thing, though, Gemini, is um, you're manifesting new experiences, new opportunities, new money. You're manifesting all of this stuff. And I almost want to ask you... If you manifesting all of this is sort of a um, band-aid for the tower, you know, you get so caught up in doing the things and changing stuff and um, allowing yourself to see your success, right? You're like allowing yourself to see the success here, but are you avoiding the tower moment or are you avoiding the fact that things have to change and evolve? Are What are you avoiding? So I feel like this is an avoidance. You snap back so fast that I almost want to say, is this moment going to come back to you because you didn't learn the lesson or are you learning the lesson? What is that lesson? Um, could be a relationship, it could be a job, it could be anything, right? Like, 
you there's something that you need to pay attention to that needs to evolve and needs to change and needs to level up and are you doing that or are you avoiding it it's an honest question honest 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 question so let's see what the death card is Yeah. See, and I feel like I feel like there has to be a movement forward. There has to be some kind of movement forward for you. And I think that whether that's an actual real physical move from one energetic location to another or you have to make decisions on the journey when I say your journey, I mean your life. And you have to make decisions in order to go back on course correction, right? And it feels like this is a past thing. It feels like this is something from the past that's sort of rearing its ugly head, whether it's a person or this could also be a, can a cancer with the chariot there, but um, whether it's a person or a situation, it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, something has to change about it. Otherwise, you're just going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. You're going to keep trying to learn the same lesson over and over and over again. If you go into something, whether it's a situation, a relationship, connection with another person if you go into something in a different way if you approach it differently if you say I learned the lesson from last time and now I know not to be this kind of person dot 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 that's when you can shift the energy thank you very much wheel of fortune for saying exactly what I was trying to say if you learn the lesson you can shift the energy into a better momentum right but you have to be aware of what has to change first. And I feel like this tower moment is trying to show that to you. But with the Wheel of Fortune on the Six of Cups, it's like, if you don't change directions now, if you don't course correct now, that old lesson is going to rear its ugly head and come straight at you. Could be with a Leo. But this is all, and I, I feel like a lot of this has to do with like building strength for yourself, like building inner strength and strengthening the bonds with somebody else. There's something that you're doing right now and relationships are involved. Two of cups on the strength card. And I, this might be where the fear is, but everything's going so well. I'm afraid to ruin that. If I bring this up or if I say, we got to do things differently, it's not working anymore. It's got to change, right? Because you want it to be better and you want it to be stronger. But if you're afraid to have the conversation or you're afraid to go in a new direction, that's the avoidance that's happening here. But you have to know that if you don't avoid, if you if you um, don't let this evolution happen, that relationship isn't going to work anyways. I mean, it could work with a lot of passive aggressiveness and not really talking about the way things go, right? Could be that way. Um, the tower. Yeah, you it's it's a risk that you're it's a risk that's going to turn in your favor. I feel like there's like a feather on my nose or something. <clears throat> the fool on the tower. It'll be risky. 
but it's a risk that you should be willing to take because it's going to turn out for the best. It's going to strengthen relationships. It's going to um, probably make you feel really good about the direction that you're headed, the direction that you're going. And um, let's see, with the magician... What's even, yeah, see, and you're, and that, this is the thing, is you are, it, it, this is, this is a, about a relationship. This is about a bond, but it's also about you and how you feel in relationships and what you're manifesting in your life is something stable and something really, really strong, but you cannot do it like you've done relationships in the past. Or you have to see, you have to see clearly the lessons that you're learning. You have to see clearly the lessons that you're learning and allowing yourself to move forward. And it feels like, you know, maybe you are taking a risk on a Scorpio. Maybe you are taking a risk on an, an, an Aquarius or an Aries. Um, Maybe even a Virgo, but I feel like this is manifesting for yourself more than anybody. Like you are taking a risk on yourself and coming out on the winning side of it. You know? So, and when I say coming out on the winning side of it, I really mean that with the Ace of Pentacles over here. So let's see. It's a great reading. Um, like a really great reading. I love, I mean, it's like, it's got adventure, it's got course correction, it's got tower, and it's got love, and it's got strength. It's got like everything that you need for a really good dramedy, you know? romantic dramedy and then and then comes the intrigue um I feel like you're worried about people I feel like this nine of swords on the ace of pentacles and with the seven of swords ooh, the seven of swords and the five of wands at the bottom of the deck it's so interesting because because at first I was like what are you so worried about you're doing it you're doing what you're supposed to be doing you're changing, you're evolving, you're leveling up, you're doing all the stuff, right? I feel like you're so, this, the fear behind the new directions and the new things in your life, right? The fear behind it is, what if somebody takes it from me? What if I, what if it gets ripped out from underneath me? And one of the blocks that we have in our life from manifesting our best life, which is, this is one of the things that um, I'll be talking about this coming Saturday on October 5th with the self-alignment course workshop that I'm giving. It's going to be so great. I'm really proud of it. But it's, it's going to be really great and fantastic, and we're going to learn all of the ways that we are blocking ourselves from manifesting our very best lives and how to overcome it. It's not an overnight process. But when you are out of alignment with your journey, with the way that you're supposed to be going, you will be paranoid. And you will have that fear within you that somebody could easily take everything that you've worked so hard for. You know? That seven of swords and the five of wands, it's like, what are you fighting what are you fighting about? What are you actually fighting about? Because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing to evolve and to change and to level up. See? Six of Wands and the Seven of Wands. You're even creating healthy boundaries for yourself. Maybe even healthy boundaries when it comes to an Aries. You've even done that. But the fear comes from a place 
of not trusting yourself and your journey and your soul's journey and not trusting the universe has your back. So you have to go through the healing process, the Four of Swords and the Eight of Cups. You have to go through the healing process right now. Instead of trying to distract yourself over and over and over and over and over again. When you allow yourself to have a spiritual practice every day and you do it where you are removing your ego from the equation, that's when miracles will occur. When you have faith and you have trust and you give your energy to people, places, and things that are giving back to you, you give, your, you, you give it with an energy of love. You are manifesting the relationship that you truly desire. You are manifesting the journey that you want to be on. You're even manifesting money into your life. You just now, the only thing that you have to do is learn how to believe that you deserve all of it and that it is coming to you. Okay. So if you would like to join us this Saturday, it's going to be really fantastic and wonderful and I'm excited for it. I'm really excited for it. If you can't join us live, I will be sending out a recording afterwards and it's, you know, a fraction of what it would cost to spend an hour with me and it's a two hour workshop and there's going to be so much um, information there. So I uh, hope you guys hope to see you there. The meditation and Reiki healing circles. The next one is Sunday, and then we'll have one for the full moon in Aries in two weeks. And then we will have another one at the end or in the third week. <clears throat> um, it's either going to be on a Sunday or whenever the new or full moon is. There you go. Um, go to my website, fearlessintuition.net, to register for those. And the six-month 2020 forecasts are now available for pre-order. If you pre-order your forecast, you will also get December of 2019. All of the pre-orders will be scheduled to receive their videos the first two weeks in November. So, um, yeah, pre-order your 2020, see what's going on from December to June. I think there are like 15 left, maybe less than that now. I'm only doing a small amount for the pre-order, so, um, there you go. I love you guys. Have a wonderful October. I'll see you for the love readings. And please join me for the workshop in the meditation and Reiki circles. Bye.